So we all know that Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat made the NBA Finals back in 2020, which was last year. And this year they made it back into the playoffs as the number six seed. Now, obviously this year, the Miami Heat got swept by the Milwaukee Bucks. And by the way, I was shocked, okay? I did not expect the Miami Heat to get swept by Milwaukee. I had Milwaukee winning the series in seven games. I felt the I felt Milwaukee this year was the better team. I felt they were improved this year. But I just did not see the Miami Heat getting swept by this team, especially due to the fact that they beat the Milwaukee Bucks last year. Now, to me, the biggest downfall for the Miami Heat this year was they just did not handle championship expectations very well. I think last year they flew under the radar and surprised a lot of people. But this year when all the eyes were on the Miami Heat, They failed to respond. That includes the coaching staff and the players, you know. But I want to focus in on Jimmy Butler, who did not particularly have a great series versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, am I lower on Jimmy Butler today than I was a year ago? Yes, I am. I felt that Jimmy Butler might have been starting to creep into that, you know, top 10 players in the NBA list, you know. I felt that he was at least, you know, on the cusp of being a top 10 player. He's not a top 10 player. Not quite that. But I will say, Jimmy Butler is still a pretty darn good basketball player. I think a lot of people are crushing him, which for good reason, you know, because he didn't play particularly well. But today, I'm going to defend Jimmy Butler. And today, I'm going to tell you why you still should consider Jimmy Butler an NBA superstar. The reason why the Miami Heat are in the playoffs, a big reason why, is because Jimmy Butler is that dude, okay? Jimmy Butler is the heart and soul of the Miami Heat. That team does not make the finals last year without Jimmy Butler. Okay? They're in the playoffs right now because of him. I understand you have Bam out of Bayou. You have, you know, Tyler Harrell, Duncan Robinson, a really good head coach and Eric Spolster that's in the conversation for being the best coach in all basketball. I get it. But Jimmy Butler is the heart and soul of that franchise right now. Okay? Jimmy Butler is one of the most valuable players in all of basketball. Jimmy Butler brings a superstar level value to your team. He, he may not be a superstar level talent, but he brings superstar level value to your basketball team. Okay? And I'm going to kind of make the case for why Jimmy Butler deserves to be labeled an NBA superstar. You know, what makes Jimmy Butler so great? You know, There's kind of a CP3, a Kawhi Leonard, and LeBron James factor with Jimmy Butler where wherever he goes, that team wins at a high level. You know, in Chicago, the last time Chicago was in the playoffs, the Bulls, was when Jimmy Butler was on the roster. Ever since Jimmy Butler left the Bulls, they've been irrelevant, okay? Minnesota, you know, the last time they were in the playoffs, oh, ironically, when Jimmy Butler was on the team. The Philadelphia 76ers, they've missed Jimmy Butler. Whether they want to admit it or not, they miss his defense. They miss his ability to close out games. And like I said, Jimmy Butler is the heart and soul of the Miami Heat. The things that I like the most about Jimmy Butler is this. He brings it every night. Unlike Kawhi Leonard, if Jimmy Butler's healthy, he's going to find a way to play. There will be no low managing with Jimmy Butler, okay? I like that, okay? Now, obviously, he's had some injuries over the past couple of years that has limited limited him to the amount of games that he's played, but for the most part, when he's healthy, he's going to bring it each night, okay? And anytime your best player brings it every single night when he's healthy, that reflects on your team in a very positive way because if our best player is going hard, then we're going to go hard, you know what I'm saying? And Jimmy Butler is always going to be willing to guard the best player on the opposing team. He'll guard Kevin Durant. He'll guard LeBron James. Sometimes he is successful. Sometimes he's not successful. But he's a guy that's going to take on that challenge. He's not going to run from it. I'm sorry, but Kawhi Leonard, you disappointed me. You have decided to not guard Luka Doncic in the playoffs. And it bothers me because Kawhi Leonard is talented enough to – guard Luka Doncic. I know for a fact Jimmy Butler would welcome that challenge. Okay? 
And we're talking about a guy in Jimmy Butler that went toe-to-toe with LeBron James in the NBA Finals and had a 35-point triple-double in a Game 5 where the Miami Heat could have easily, you know, went home via gentleman sweep. You know, obviously Miami couldn't quite overcome the star power of LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers, but they were able to get to the finals and compete and win two games versus the Los Angeles Lakers because Jimmy Butler's so good, okay? I understand, like I said, Miami is a good roster, but he's the best player. He deserves a lot of credit, okay? And another thing you need to know about Jimmy Butler is this guy averaged 2.6 points per game as a rookie. His work ethic is unbelievable. He's turned himself into an effective 20-point-per-game scorer that's efficient, that plays good defense. He's an underrated passer. He's a great guy for your culture and your locker room. And wherever Jimmy Butler goes, he will win at a high level. At least his team will win at a high level. That is the value that Jimmy Butler brings to your team, and that's the case for Jimmy Butler being a superstar in the NBA. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows. Or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.